We spent many calls looking at memes and trying to figure out Gen Z humor. I'm still trying to figure out the humor. <laughs> Did somebody say chill? What? Back to school is a very important time for Grammarly. That's when many students discover Grammarly for the first time, and we wanted to communicate that Grammarly could help them continue to achieve their goals. We've been working with Creative Works for several years now. They understand our brand, our audience, and what works on YouTube. The brief was basically to create and develop a campaign that reaches out to the students and, and really speak in their language. We strongly believe that if you lean further into the language of YouTube, you can have more impact. If you want to ace your paper, download Grammarly. Are you me? Yeah, you in three months. Future You Thanks You was the winning concept that then was handed over to the winning agency, Ghost Note. When that brief kind of like hit the table, we looked at each other and we said, is this something that we think we're going to be able to do and do well? This was one of our biggest uh, projects to date at Ghost Note. Through consumer research that Google had done, Grammarly had realized that uh, a lot of their audience was Gen Z, and they were looking for this campaign to feel very different from the previous campaigns they've done on YouTube. One of the biggest challenges we had with this campaign was ensuring that we were dialing up the humor, appealing to our audience, and staying true to our brand. We wanted to push the envelope, but not so far that we would be inauthentic. This is the generation that grew up on YouTube. They have a great bullshit radar for these kind of things. And so passing that is, is a great challenge. It didn't feel like a campaign where we could just like show what Grammarly did. We wanted it to be funny. We wanted it to be, you know, emotive for them. How are things with Sarai? Yeah, she married Chad. What? The biggest challenge for this campaign was definitely getting that Gen Z humor right. It doesn't make sense to people who just don't get it. Um, I think there's like a, a really online kind of internet culture that comes with uh, Gen Z. We did a lot of research on various social media platforms. You know, I think Gen Z is sometimes sarcastic where they're sometimes a little bit negative to themselves in a funny way. We wanted to create a world that had its humorous moments, but also spoke to things that are important for Gen Z. Already know. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Let's finish this essay. YouTube changed advertising, right? Like at the end of the day, you can skip out on a video at any point in time. And so like those general, very basic YouTube best practices are key even in the conceptual phase. We had Johannes on set, which of course was super helpful in making sure that the campaign was optimized for YouTube. The very basics are get the audience hooked, have something intriguing right from the get-go. Did you download Grammarly? In the story structure, have a heartbeat uh, that mix between those product moments that explain the product, but then also mix it in again with those light-hearted entertainment moments, making sure that it's properly framed, cropped in, properly lit so that you can see it on a small screen, and then close it out with a clear and direct call to action, break the fourth wall, talk with the audience directly, and then should be good to go. Oh, you're still here? Well, click the blue button to use Grammarly. We are one of the only black-owned agencies in the States today. We are primarily an agency of people of color, and I think that lets us bring our unique lived experiences to the work. A diverse and inclusive crew makes for a better end product on anything that you're working in. I mean, perspective and lived experiences is key to the success of a campaign. Everybody is going to give you insight that you're not going to get if you just work with one specific type of people. We try to create uh, content that feels relatable, that feels authentic, and really centers and highlights people whose voices are usually unheard and not seen in the mainstream media. Many students really related to the characters and the situations. Several of them said that they wanted to be friends with one of the main characters. So far, we've achieved over 150 million views of the videos. People were, you know, really interested in seeing the full commercial, even if it wasn't in just an ad, they were actually willing to Google it and go look at it. It's always a rewarding feeling that, oh yeah, our, our stuff is working, and it's like, okay, all right, next, next one, please. <laughs>